Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. In order to achieve a greater restrictive effect, the United States has been wooing Japan and the Netherlands since it issued new export control regulations in October last year. Finally, a tripartite agreement was reached at the end of January this year. After that, Japan and the Netherlands successively announced the implementation of export controls. The Japanese ban has been officially implemented on July 23rd. Previously, Japanese companies had opposed it one after another, and China had also issued warnings, but Japan still insisted on going its own way. Today, Nikon News came out and the consequences of the Japanese ban appeared. The new regulations issued by the United States in October last year focused on advanced semiconductor equipment, with the goal of restricting the export of equipment related to 14 nanometers and below processes. However, American companies have no advantage in lithography machines, so they began to win over Japan and the Netherlands. EUV lithography machines have been restricted before, and now they want to restrict DUV lithography machines. Because high-end EUV can only be produced by ASML in the Netherlands, the United States only needs to put pressure on the Netherlands to restrict ASML's shipment of EUV. In 2018, SMIC ordered an EUV from ASML, but it failed to arrive because of four pressures from the United States. The Immersion DUV lithography machine, in addition to ASML, Japan's Nikon can also produce. At present, ASML has adopted the immersion technology of TSMC Lin Benjian which has surpassed Nikon in Japan and gradually become the global lithography machine overlord. The dry technology previously developed by Nikon was later found to be unfeasible and was surpassed by ASML. Only then did it start to develop the immersion technology, which has achieved breakthroughs in recent years. However, Nikon's immersion DUV shipments are not large, only a few units per year. Even so, they were targeted by the United States, so they continued to win over Japan and the Netherlands and wanted to implement restrictions together. Because Nikon found that although ASML was restricted in shipments of EUV, it was still doing well in the Chinese market with DUV and occupied a considerable market share. So it also decided to use immersion DUV to vigorously develop the Chinese market. Nikon is a veteran lithography machine giant, and it used to mainly target US corporate customers such as Intel. After seeing the situation of ASML, Nikon made a decision some time ago to reduce the proportion of revenue dependence on American companies and actively deploy China's lithography machine market. To this end, Nikon plans to increase the production of immersion DUV and plans to increase sales in China by more than three times by 2026. Thanks to Nikon's efforts, in February this year, Nikon also won the bid for an immersion DUV lithography machine from Shanghai Jita Semiconductor. If things go on like this, Nikon can really put some pressure on ASML in the Chinese market and at least get a share of the pie. However, Japan responded positively to the tripartite agreement and quickly announced that it would implement export controls. Later, it also announced the detailed rules on restrictions involving seven categories of 23 items of equipment, of which immersion DUV 
is an important item and shipments are directly restricted. I don't know if the one Nikon won the bid can still be delivered. Anyway, the Shanghai Jita lithography machine was ASML's winning bid. According to the analysis of relevant experts, Japan's implementation of export control will affect more than 10 equipment manufacturers, such as Tokyo Electronics and Nikon, because Japan's domestic market is limited, they are very dependent on the Chinese market, and there is no substitute market. Recently, Nikon announced its second quarter financial report. In addition to the camera business still growing, the lithography machine business has been greatly affected. In the second quarter, only six lithography machines were sold, a year-on-year -year decline of 60%, so the consolidated net profit plummeted 78.3%. It can be seen that Nikon has been the first to be affected by the Japanese ban, so foreign media said, the consequences of the Japanese ban have emerged. The decline in sales of Nikon lithography machines can only be blamed on Japan's strict export control, even surpassing that of the Netherlands. The immersion lithography machine is mainly used for 45 to 7 nanometers, and the Japanese rules directly stipulate that shipments are not allowed in this range. This is not the case in the Netherlands. In addition to requiring 45 to 7 nanometers, it also requires that the DCO value be less than or equal to 15 nanometers at the same time. Therefore, ASML indicated that the Dutch restriction does not apply to all immersion models and 1980D can still be shipped normally. This is why Shanghai Jita Semiconductor once again invited bids for lithography machines and chose ASML instead of Nikon. Although Japan has always claimed that it does not target any specific country in terms of export controls, everyone understands that Japan is actively cooperating with the United States to impose relevant restrictions on China, because Chinese companies need approval to import advanced semiconductor equipment. The point is that Japan's move will only make Japanese equipment manufacturers lose more and more, and even lose the Chinese market. Because the implementation of restrictions will only prompt China to speed up research and development and achieve domestic substitution faster, and Japanese companies will only lose the market completely. Take the lithography machine as an example. The similar lithography machine in China is about to break through, and Nikon's DUV will no longer be needed by then.